it's really important to people that they get the news in a way that's Peter Dunlap Scholl's My Degeneration, A Journey Through Parkinson's is a book not necessarily written for the masses. Dunlap Scholl describes it as an operations manual for Parkinson's. It was written for people like me that got their diagnosis and didn't know what the hell was going to happen or where, what to do. Many Alaskans know Dunlap Scholl by his art. For years, he was a staff cartoonist for the Anchorage Daily News. With himself as the central character, the story tracks Dunlap Scholl's progression and education about Parkinson's, from medication to surgery to the science behind the disease. The disease and its symptoms make numerous appearances in the book, often in the form of demons and terrifying beasts. The original idea of the book was to be like, it was sort of like a curse. And It'd be like a wizard who's been offended or something. Your feet will freeze when you're walking, and you can't walk forward, but you can walk backwards. It's like a curse. It's like you shall not walk forward again, but you shall walk backwards. One of the most fascinating revelations in the book is the appearance of the spandex angel. It was so urgent and so clear. It was amazing. Shortly after his diagnosis, with questions spinning through his head, Dunlap Scholl has a vision. I had this voice that came to me and said, it was like, so yeah, the, the Old Testament was like this voice. It says to me, you gotta exercise. If you don't exercise, you just go downhill in a way that's gonna be, make a big splat when you land. Though the topic is difficult and often grim, the book maintains a feeling of hope. Dunlap Scholl says he feels even the act of being able to create the book 14 years after being diagnosed makes the book hopeful. I got a great uh, note from a guy who said he likes he keeps it on his bed for when he's really depressed and he reads it and laughs. And stuff like that. That's was the best reaction I could imagine to the book. It was a comfort to him and that was what it was meant to be. For cover to cover, Tracy Sinclair, Channel 2 News.